In this module, you learn how to perform basic BGP troubleshooting. The module describes troubleshooting of a two-site network, where the sites are connected over an MPLS VPN network and use BGP as the routing protocol between the site router and the service provider network. To understand this module, you should have basic router configuration knowledge, equivalent to the CCNA certification, and basic BGP configuration skills that you can gain through watching other videos in this series. This module covers only the basic troubleshooting techniques. To learn advanced techniques, search the BGP Resource Center at wiki.nil.com slash BGP. The scenario we'll troubleshoot is well known to any networking engineer. A client on site A having AS number 65101 cannot reach the server on site B, having BGP AS number 65102. We are assuming you already performed initial troubleshooting to verify that the client can reach the local router, that clients from some other site can reach the server, so it's not a server problem, and that the LAN and WAN links connected to routers on both sides are working correctly. Structured BGP troubleshooting is usually performed in these steps. You check the BGP session state on the client side. You check the BGP and IP routing tables on the client side. You check the BGP session on the server side. And finally, you check the BGP route origination and propagation on the server side. However, you have to keep in mind that you need bidirectional connectivity to establish a session between the client and the server. The steps described in the previous slide, therefore, have to be performed in both directions first from site A to site B, and then from site B to site A. The second check is needed to verify that the return traffic from the server can reach the client. To start the troubleshooting, use the show IP protocol summary command. This command displays all routing protocols running on the router. BGP should be included in the list and the BGP AS number should match the AS number assigned to your site by the MPLS VPN service provider. The show IP BGP summary command displays the list of the BGP neighbors and the state of the BGP sessions. Check the last column of the neighbor table. If it contains a number, the session is operational. Otherwise, a short text will identify the session state. If the BGP session is not established, check the neighbor's parameters, the remote IP address and the remote AS number. You can use output filters to reduce the verbose output produced by the show IP BGP summary command. The begin neighbor filter will display just the neighbor table, but be careful to use proper capitalization. The filters are case sensitive. If the BGP session state is listed as idle, you have to check whether the remote IP address is reachable and directly connected. Use the show IP route command to do that. The output should indicate that the IP subnet of the BGP neighbor is directly connected. To troubleshoot the BGP session state, we've used the following commands. The show IP protocol summary command displays the IP routing protocols running on the router. Check the presence of BGP and verify the local AS number. The show IP BGP summary command displays the configured BGP neighbors. Check the presence of the PE router in the neighbor list and verify its parameters, including the AS number. If the session state is idle, the PE router is not reachable. Check the IP routing table with the show IP route command. If the BGP session state remains active, Check the local IP address on the WAN link with the show IP interface brief command. If the local IP address is correct, you'll have to perform more complex BGP troubleshooting. Please find the guidelines in the BGP Resource Center at wiki.nil.com slash BGP. After you've verified that the BGP sessions work, check the contents of the BGP table with the show IP BGP command. It's best to check the presence of a single IP prefix or even the server's IP address. Our printout indicates that the server subnet is in the BGP table and that it's selected, that's the best keyword, and used. 
If you want to list all routes advertised by a single site, you can use BGP regular expressions to list all BGP entries that have a specific pattern in the AS path. If you use the remote AS number as the regular expression, the router will display all BGP subnets received from that site. In our case, three IP prefixes are received from the site with the AS number 65102, that's site B. Finally, use the show IP route command to verify that the BGP prefix is installed in the IP routing table and used to forward the traffic toward the destination. We have used the following commands to troubleshoot the BGP table. The show IP BGP command displays the BGP table contents. You can use an IP prefix you want to check as the parameter of this command. The show IP BGP regexp command displays all routes where the AS path of the route matches the specified regular expression. Although this command can get very complex, you only have to remember the syntax that matches the remote AS number. To match the remote AS number, wrap it in a pair of underscores. When you verify that the IP prefix from the remote site is in the BGP table, use the show IP route command to verify it's also present in the IP routing table. If a BGP route that resides in the BGP table is not copied into the IP routing table, you will have to perform a more complex BGP troubleshooting. Please find the guidelines in the BGP Resource Center at wiki.nil.com slash bgp. We've used these commands to troubleshoot BGP route origination and propagation. The show IP BGP regexps caret dollar command displays all routes in the BGP table that have an empty AS path. Only the locally originated routes match this requirement. If the local router does not originate routes that are present in its routing table, you have to check the BGP configuration. You should configure origination of local routes with a redistribute or network router configuration command. The show IP BGP neighbor advertised command displays all the routes that the local router advertises to a BGP neighbor. If the route does not advertise its local routes to the BGP neighbors, someone has probably configured outbound BGP filters. You'll have to perform more complex BGP troubleshooting to identify the issue. You can find the guidelines in the BGP Resource Center at wiki.nil.com slash bgp. Once you are familiar with the basic concepts and troubleshooting steps, BGP troubleshooting is not harder than any other routing protocol troubleshooting. Usually you have to check these major blocks. BGP sessions between the CE routers and the PE routers on both ends. BGP routing table and IP routing table on the client side. And BGP route origination and route propagation on the server side. You also have to remember that most applications require bidirectional connectivity to establish an application session. These checks thus have to be performed in both directions. You can find more BGP resources including videos, in-depth technical articles, design guidelines and configuration tips in the BGP Resource Center located at wiki.nil.com slash bgp. NIL also offers specialized BGP training. Check the relevant products at www.nil.com slash ls slash bgp.